Okay, bacon sizzling looks good. We're going to start this video. We have a Jacob Bramwell pan. As you can see, I purposely grabbed one that was a, a little bit of rough shape. Uh, it's got a little bit of rust on it here and there. I grabbed an old one to show you that just in case yours sits around and gets a little rusty, it doesn't matter. We can clean them right up. Now, this pan has been around for about 200 years. Ooh, a little bit of bacon splatter. And uh, first thing we're going to do is show you how to get rid of that rust. I'm going to get a little bit of white vinegar, pour it in there, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Got a little cheap white wine vinegar. I'm um, sorry, white distilled vinegar. You know what's on my mind. Pour a little bit in there like that. And just let that soak around there. What this does is it'll remove the rust spots. Oh, by the way, when you get a pan from us, you're not going to get an old rusty pan. We're just showing you the way it works. And we're going to, of course, give you a new one. But just in case you don't get right to it and it gets wet or whatever. It comes right off. Around it like that. This is going to remove all that rust stain. All right, shut that off and we'll clean this up and we'll be right back. Okay, just about done. A little bit more up in there. You got a stubborn spot, just let it soak for a minute. Now once you do this, you don't want to just walk away and leave your pan because it'll rust up again if you don't clean this vinegar back off. That to be perfect, just get the bulk of it. You know, it's harder to get the label off than it is to get this off. Give you an idea how quick it comes off. Let's sit for a second. Okay. Just taking it right off. I'm not too worried about the back anyway. Okay. Now we're going to go rinse this off in some water. I'm going to put about a half an inch of water in it and we're going to boil the label out. Be right back. Okay. Okay. Now, just going to put that on the heat. Let that steam, simmer, boil, whatever. And as soon as the paper comes off, all that's going to be left is a little glue and we can get that out with um, one of those blue sponges with a little scrubby on the back. But let's let that boil. Unless you want to sit here for about five minutes. It's almost as fun as watching paint dry. We'll be back to you. Okay, we're back. Actually put a little drop of soap in there, that's why it's bubbling up. As you can see, the label's coming off. I'm scraping at it a little bit. I swear this is the hardest part of seasoning your pan, is taking the label off. I don't know why they don't put them on the back of the pan, but please don't blame us. We're not the ones that do it. They come from the factory like that. Alright, whoops, that was smart. Let that boil a little bit more. There's a little bit of glue left on there. It's coming off and then we'll take it over and scrub it off with a scrubby pad and we should be good to go. Okay. Alright, I just put earlier, do it again, just put a drop of dish soap in there. Let it boil for a second. Take it off the heat. I don't really have a lot of room here to work. And without burning my hands, that burns. I'll best some of that water. And get the rest of that soapy stuff out of there. A little bit of glue that's left behind. A nice shiny spot in the middle of the pan. Not for long. That's the next step. That's the fun part. Ooh, that is a little hot on the fingertip down there. I think we got it all out. Yep, label's all out. I'm going to go rinse this off, cool it off a little bit, and I'll be right back back all right, I probably said I'll be right back a hundred times I just realized that to you guys it's probably driving you nuts because I'm saying it every three seconds to me it's actually a few minutes in between so I'll try to stop saying that all right as you can see we've got the label out we got all the little rust spots off bag of the pan who cares put it back on the heat now normally what we would use here is a teaspoon of oil to season the pan with we're on a camping trip I don't have any oil but what I do have is some of the fattest bacon I've ever seen in my life I'm not going to eat that part anyway. I'm going to tear off the meat, throw the fat right in there. Stringy bacon. This bacon's terrible. I wish I knew what brand it was. I'd tell you not to buy it. Okay, pan nice and hot. Throw that in there. And what we're going to do is literally just soak, the, get the oil out of it, and use that to burn to season the pan. I don't know why you shut that off. Leave it on. As you can see, pan getting hot. A little bit too hot, take it off. You don't, want to, you don't want to melt the pan. I do have a very hot flame going here. You're not going to melt it. I'm being exaggerating a little bit, but no sense in doing it that hot. 
some of this bacon grease. I've actually got some. Here's a well-seasoned pan. That's the one we've been using earlier. Here's a little more bacon grease. But I'm going to I'm going to show you right from scratch without having as if we didn't have that here and keep using this. There we go. Cook, cook, cook. Get that piece of meat out of there. Feed the ants over here. Let that You literally you see it smoking, you literally just want to burn the grease in. It's the best way to season these things. The blacker the better. A little too hot up there. Got a little piece of fat. Woo! Fat you don't want to do. Actually, there's even a warning in the instructions not to get it that hot. Just for safety reasons, it's fun. Could you give me some money? <laughs> yeah. Could you help us season this pan? I can't do that. I'm not allowed. What do you need money for on a camping trip? You're going to love this, everybody. Where are you going? Into the game room with yeah. Grandma. You're really roughing it, kiddo. All right, let me get this... Uh, out back person, big camper, a couple quarters to go waste, and we'll be right back. And let this sit over here and cool for a minute. We back? Okay. My wife's getting my son a couple quarters for the arcade. This is not camping like I'm used to. When I was a kid, most we had to play with when we went on was a frisbee if we were lucky enough to remember to bring one. If not, we threw a stick at each other. You're making yourself sound old. I'm not that old. I'm just not that young either. Alright, so anyway, rather than bore you with this, we're going to do this, let this burn again, and uh, you can see what the pan looks like now. We're going to cook that in there for about another, oh, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. We'll cook, keep doing this, and uh, we'll show you the results in a second. Alright, we're back? Good. Alright, we're running out of tape. I guess I got a little too talkative, so I'm going to dump this oil. This pan is now fully seasoned, ready to... Give it a try. We're got, we got a little bit of pancake batter left. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to dump this oil and I'll be right back. Didn't say much pancake batter here. I don't have much to show you. Just to give you an idea how good this works. We're going to make one quick mini pancake. Hope we don't run out of tape. How long have we got? About a minute. You're not recording. Yeah, I am. Okay, you are recording. I cook faster. We don't have a lot of time. Do you want me to stop it? No, no, let it run. That's the world's smallest pancake. There you go. That's how you make it. Pretty much a uh, non-stick pan out of a steel Bromwell pan. And it's seasoned and ready to go. The more you use it, the better it gets. Are we done? Did we save enough tape? We made it. Okay. You're all done? We're all done. And my first pancake looks terrible. <laughs> Can I eat it? 